Are you ready to cook a storm in your kitchen? Welcome or welcome back everyone to Cooking with Frenchie, cooking and baking made easy. Today it's all about my gluten-free recipe of pancakes, beautiful blueberry pancakes. So the recipe it's basics, simple, easy and healthy. I'm using gluten-free flour, few eggs, no sugar at all, just the natural fruit of the blueberries. If you like it, don't forget to comment under the section. Also always subscribe to my channel and change your notification bell setting very important to not miss one recipe so this recipe as i said it's simple and easy to finish i added a little bit of greek yogurt some beautiful honeys from southwest honey here in pemberton western australia it makes this recipe for breakfast or dessert items a beautiful items so i hope you enjoy it and i see you next time on cooking with frenchie Bye. There we are, my gluten-free pancake with blueberries. We're going to use 150 grams of gluten-free flour, 30 grams of oats, about two eggs, also 200 ml of milk, and 200 grams of blueberry. As I said, this sugar has no, uh, this recipe has no sugar. What I do is I mix the flour with the oats first, and then I'm going to incorporate the milk a little by little so keep mixing in the middle and don't grab the rest of the flour aside it will naturally drop to the middle like this you will avoid lumps as you see it slowly the batter is getting together so I'm adding my first egg And soon I will add the second egg. You can prepare this batter 24 in advance if you want to, but it doesn't need to rest. It can be done in realistically five minutes. No more than that. You see, it's done. I'm going to add half of my blueberries there in the batter and give it a bit of a mix and a bit of a smash them through. You can use frozen fruits or different fruits if you wish to, depending on your taste. Now I'm going to prepare my pan. So I'm using a flat pan, non-stick pan, and I put a little bit of fat. Here I'm using a coconut spray oil. Or you can just use a little bit of uh, coconut oil or butter if you want to, there's no problem. Just two large spoons for each pancake. And it takes about a minute per side. At a moderate heat so the first one tends to be a little light in color and the second batch a little bit darker this recipe makes easily uh, three to four serve it depends how much pancake you want maybe two serve or if you're really greedy only one serve with that recipe I made about 12 pancakes all up another minute and they should be ready. So keep going, doing this until you cook all your pancakes. You can either keep the batter for tomorrow or you can cook it all and realistically just warm them up as you want or as you desire. As usual, you can follow me either on Instagram, Cooking with Frenchie or Facebook, Cooking with Frenchie, same old, same old. Once your pancakes are ready, you can start to uh, think about plating up so that was ready for the pancake recipe as i'm not that healthy or healthy wise uh, i added to my pancake a little bit of a greek yogurt and also some uh, honey i'm fall in love for the honey we have here in wa in western australia we got sas west honey I got some, 
uh, over there in Pemberton and it's a beautiful honey made from red gum. It's just divine. So just a spoon, just to drizzle. And this dish really for breakfast is healthy and less than 300 calories. It will please the entire family. You will reduce your gluten content. If you suffer from celiac disease or you are gluten intolerant or hypothyroidism, as I do, that's been a low, slow thyroid. It's perfect for you. A little bit of a high sink sugar for presentation and dust. And there you are. I had few flowers of rosemary. I think it goes very well with it. It really cuts through the flavor. Gives a little bit je ne sais quoi. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Reproduce it for yourself or your friend or family this weekend. And enjoy. Have a great weekend.